bigger, fatter, and better than ever. The brand new W2 Performance Turbocharger from 271 HANA Performance. On behalf of me and my team here at 271, we are super excited today to bring you the details of our brand new W2 Drop-In Performance Turbocharger. Fresh off the heels of our most popular W1 drop-in on the market, the W2 takes performance to the absolute next level. I'm Vincent, so tune in while we give you the details on this brand new drop-in unit. The W1 was a game changer in the Tempton Honda community, and we knew we needed to follow it up with something big, and that's just what we did, literally. The W2 uses a larger center section, compressor cover, and turbine housing to allow it to be able to flow more and make both more horsepower and torque. Starting from the inside out, the W2 has been beefed up over the W1. While popular W1 uses an MHI TD04 center section, the W2 uses an MHI TD04.5 center section. What does this mean exactly? Bigger bearings, bigger shaft, better reliability and durability, and able to handle more power and more boost load. Not only does the larger center section give us larger cooling jackets for improved cooling capacity, but it also increases the surface area in which our bearings ride on. So what this does is it allows more support for our entire system. Therefore, we can increase the durability of the entire unit and be able to make more power by being able to throw more boost at it, knowing our turbo is gonna take everything we throw at it. So let's dive in a little bit more into the wheels of the W2 turbocharger. For the wheels, we actually use the same 6x6 billet compressor wheel and a variant of our 9-blade turbine wheel. The sizes are actually the same as those of the W1 in regards to both inducer and exducer on both wheels. Doing this allowed us to not take a large hit on spool-up characteristics and help keep the wheel weight down for improved throttle transient responses. Looking at the outside of the W2, you can see the big differences, literally. The real magic happens in our turbine housings and compressor cover. We up the sizes on both ends of the turbo to really increase the flow, and this is where most of our power comes from. Many think the big power numbers come from larger wheels stuffed inside of tiny houses. While there's marginal improvement to be made there, eventually they're gonna run out of room. So we did the most logical next best thing. We made bigger housings and ends. The turbine housing is increased from the W1 0.50 AR to a 0.65 AR. And then the compressor cover gets bumped up from 0.43 0.50. These improvements combine to net us on average another 40 to 50 wheel horsepower over a W1 turbo on a similar setup. One thing that we were absolutely adamant about on the W2 is that drop in performance and like fitment. No changing of the downpipe, no messing around with wastegate actuator doohickeys and controllers and no weird adjustments to any of that stuff. This is gonna be 100% drop-in fitment. It's gonna work with your downpipe, your inlet pipe, your intercooler, and everything you already have invested into your car for a true 100% drop-in fitment. As with every turbocharger, we include everything you need. The W2 is unique in the fact that we're gonna supply you with a brand new turbine heat shield. During our design and development, to get the larger scroll outside of the W2 turbine that we wanted, we needed to increase the size in other areas. The OEM heat shield just simply wouldn't fit. So we're gonna provide you for a brand new laser cut and formed heat shield that will bolt right in and look really good under your hood. So how does the W1 compare to the W2? On average, you're gonna see about a 40 to 50 wheel horsepower increase on both pump gas and ethanol. Because of the larger housing, spool is gonna be a little bit later and it's gonna come on a little bit more up top. But you're gonna be able to carry much more power on the top end as well. So whether you're looking for a closer street-like performance or really high-end performance, we've got you covered with both options of turbochargers. We're really excited to be able to bring this to market for you guys and to put a lot of time and effort into making this product come to life. As always, thank you for tuning in and I dare you to redefine the aftermarket. <laughs>